The Chinese government, when it looks at Europe, takes a very tough-minded view. And their first question is, what's in it for China? There's plenty in it for China in Europe at the moment because the assets are so undervalued and the markets are, sh are selling euro um, so short. The Chinese government, however, is also aware of the fact that it's got a very large overseas treasury to deal with. It's got something like 3.2 trillion US dollars invested in the United States alone. And the question is whether Europe can offer the same kind of sophistication as the United States financial markets in attracting that kind of investment. In the meantime, the Chinese have plenty of things to spend their own money on. For example, they've just begun a new uh, affordable housing program, which will spend the equivalent of 770 billion US dollars over the next five years. So when we're talking in Ireland or in Europe of maybe the Chinese government putting 100 billion or 200 billion into various uh, bond issues that we may want to make, we have to remember that the Chinese themselves have large demands on their own finances.